guys, Jeff here with Mitsubishi Cooling and Heating. Welcome to another episode of Tech Tips. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the PA error code. We'll see what some possible reasons for the error code are, what the error code means, and of course, some ways to fix it. The PA error code represents a water protection fault at the indoor unit. Water fault protection happens in any mode except for cooling, which is typically where we would find a water fault. In order for the PA to be generated, the indoor unit's liquid line thermistor must be at least 10 degrees colder than the room temperature, and the water safety must be engaged for at least 15 minutes. That seems pretty complicated. Let's break this down into some easy to use examples. In this example of the PA error code, we're using a system that's utilizing a common drain. The common drain is there for multiple indoor and outdoor units. So what would happen if a clog occurs at the end of this drain line? Say the units all the way at the beginning of the drain continue to run, but water starts to back up into the very last air handler. Water then fills the pan, kicks the float switch, even though the unit's not calling for cool. Well, that's exactly how a PA error code can happen. In this next example, we're gonna be taking a look at a system that's using a branch box. Inside the branch box, there's LEVs, or linear expansion valves, for every zone. What would happen if, say, a linear expansion valve were to be stuck open, constantly flowing refrigerant to the zone, even when it's off? Well, that could lead to a PA error code. In the same example, with the system using a branch box, what would happen if the wires were crossed between the zones? And when zone one called, it caused refrigerant to flow to, say, zone three. Well, that zone's not calling, but it's starting to get refrigerant flow. That could eventually lead to a PA. Our last example is something that we run into quite often. The situation is when multiple systems are installed on the same job site in the same vicinity, almost side by side, such as system one and system two. What would happen if the wires between those systems were crossed? So system one actually went into system two, and system two went to system one. That can cause the PA error code. Let's take a look and see how it happens. When system one calls for cooling, it sends a signal to the outdoor unit. However, in this case, it's sending a signal to unit two. Even though system two may be off, now it's getting a cold coil or refrigerant flowing through it. That will cause a PA error code. For additional information and service manuals, please feel free to visit www.mylinkdrive.com. If there's any topics you would like to see discussed in the future, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for future episodes of Tech Tips and Homeowner Help.